Motivation sucks. Plain and simple, it's just a cold hard fact of life. When it comes to accomplishing your goals, the vision that you wanna make a reality for yourself, motivation is not gonna be enough to get you through to the end. While it might be what causes you to get started in the first place, it's not gonna be long lasting enough to carry you through and make sure that you get the outcome you want. So in this video, I'm talking about why motivation sucks and what you should use in replace of it. So stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hi guys, my name is David J. Kelly. Thank you so much for making it over to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. I put out new videos every week about personal development and becoming the masculine alpha male that you wanna be in your life. Without further delay, let's get into it. The reason that motivation, quite honestly, sucks is because we require consistency. Our goals, our vision for our life, to make it a reality for ourselves, to accomplish what we wanna do, it requires consistency. Day in, day out effort, very simply. If you wanna build a great physique, or you wanna lose weight, it requires working out every single day and giving yourself obviously time to rest, but eating well, doing the right things every day and compounding that over the course of a couple months. If you want to start a business, it requires planning, it requires effort, it requires going and getting the funding that you need, securing the products or services that you need, and it requires doing all that and building that slowly over time. If you want to write a book, it's gonna require sitting down and making daily outlines and chapters and writing that stuff every single day for a couple months. You get the vibe here. When you want to accomplish something or you want to transform your body, your mind, it requires consistency, day in, day out effort. The problem is that motivation is inconsistent. It is not going to be there every single day. When you wake up and you don't want to do cardio or you don't want to write for your article or your book you're writing, you don't want to make your YouTube video, you don't want to go to work. If you are waiting around for motivation to come to you to do something, you're going to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And guess what's going to happen during that time? All the time that you could have been progressing, you could have been putting that effort in to get better, to get closer to your goals, to get closer to making your vision a reality, you're gonna have lost all of that time. And during that time, you could have been doing something else. You could have been getting disciplined, implementing self-discipline. That is the key. Self-discipline is the key to accomplishing your goals, not motivation. Motivation works best in short little bursts. You're going to the gym and you wanna nail your workout, right? So you psych yourself up, you listen to some really awesome music, you drink pre-workout or coffee, or you watch a motivational video or some or somebody that you look up to's workout video. Motivation works really well like that, right? Because you're psyching yourself up, you're getting yourself in a in a mood, in a mind tonality, and you're letting your emotions be put into the workout. That's great. Here's the problem though. If it requires you to go to the gym to to simply feel like that, there's going to be days where you don't want to do that. So what are you going to do then? There's going to be days where you go to watch those videos or drink pre-workout or do things like that and you're not going to feel like you want to do it. So then what's gonna happen? Are you just not gonna go? And if you allow that to keep happening and you keep compounding that over time, guess what? That body you want or the way you wanna feel, it's simply not gonna happen. And the same thing is true if you're trying to write a book or get a dream job or to graduate from the university you want to. I don't care what we're talking about. If you're waiting around for motivation to come to you, you're gonna keep waiting. And when you keep waiting, that is lost opportunity to progress and to move forward and overcome the challenges that are in place in front of you. Because even if you're motivated, even if you have self-discipline, there's always gonna be challenges that are gonna come your way when you're moving towards accomplishing your goals or making your life vision a reality. It's just a simple fact of life. And if you're waiting for motivation to overcome those hurdles, you're gonna keep waiting because motivation is something that is inconsistent. Being happy or feeling elation or joy, it doesn't last forever. This same way that when you're sad and you cry or something really bad happens that makes you angry. These emotions don't last forever. If you meditate, you understand through mindfulness and observing the nature of your mind, which you all should meditate, is that these emotions come and go. Motivation is much like that. It's something that comes to us and something that leaves us. It's not consistent. What is consistent is self-discipline. And I made a really good video about self-discipline that I highly recommend you go watch right now. And I'm going to link it in the cards here. Because self-discipline is consistent. It is there for us whenever we need it. Because self discipline is saying, I'm going to work out, I'm going to write, I'm going to work on my business, I'm going to show up to work even when I don't feel like doing it. That is what self-discipline is. And one great example of this is if you do work for somebody else, if you have a boss, well, what happens if you don't show up to work when you don't feel like it? You either get written up or you get fired because your boss is disciplining you. Well, if you want to have a great life, if you want to have the kind of life that only three to 5% of people have where you're dominating across your business or career life, your fitness 
fitness and your physique, your your relationships, your just your friendships, your entire life is what you want it to be, and you're that center of gravity, and people flock to you, opportunities flock to you, then guess what? You're not gonna have a boss who's gonna discipline you, or your mom, or your dad. You have to discipline yourself. You need to be the person who is saying, I'm running this ship, and this is my house, this is my way of doing things, and I'm gonna discipline myself so that I get the outcomes that I want. Because I understand that if I want to accomplish my vision or make my goals a reality for myself, then I'm gonna have to discipline myself. That I'm gonna have to show up and put in the work when I don't want to do it. Very simply, motivation, if we sit around and wait for it until we want to, we're gonna be waiting forever, as I said. But if you're self-disciplined, you'll wake up when the alarm clock goes off. You'll put in the work, you'll read, you'll meditate, you'll go to the gym, you'll work out, you'll put in the work, or whatever it is that you need to do. You will do it because you know you have to do it. Not because you want to, but because you have to. And your desire to make your vision and your goals a reality for yourself transcends the little, oh, I don't feel like doing it today. Well, buck up and start doing it because if you don't and you keep waiting for motivation, your life's gonna continue being this shitstorm of things you don't want and you're gonna continue to keep attracting the opportunities and people in your life that are not helping you. So very simply, Motivation sucks and you should rely on self-discipline because as Jocko Wilnick says, former Navy SEAL, great guy, you should read his stuff and listen to his podcast. Discipline is freedom, right? Discipline equals freedom is what he says. And then it's true. If you're able to discipline yourself, and it sounds like paradoxical actually, but if you're able to discipline yourself, that is gonna give you the freedom to get whatever it is you want out of life. So focus on self-discipline and focus on not relying on motivation. If you wanna use motivation, use it in short bursts. And like I said, you're always gonna have motivation when you're coming out of the gate with something, when you're first starting it, but that motivation is gonna slowly fade over time. And what are you gonna be left with? If you don't have self-discipline, you're not gonna end up accomplishing your goals. If you do have self-discipline, when your motivation fades, it won't matter, you'll continue doing it and your results will show itself. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning into my video on why motivation sucks and why you should implement self-discipline instead. If you got something out of it, please like the video, please comment and please subscribe to the channel because I'm putting out videos every single week on personal development and becoming the best man you can. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a killer day or night depending on when you're watching this. Peace.